How's it, how's it going there and what are we expecting today? Yeah, so today, uh, really, there's, there's two people. One person has done most of the talking for the last two and a half days. That's David Sherborne, the lawyer that represents uh, the claimants. And the name that has kept coming up time and time again is Piers Morgan. So today, David Sherborne is going to finish uh, his two and a half days of uh, opening statement for the claimants' position. Then we're going to hear from the lawyers representing Mirror Group newspapers, their opening statements. Next week, we'll hear from the witnesses but essentially this case is about was there uh, 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 obtaining illegal information was that taking place at mirror group newspapers and if so who knew about it and were they trying to cover it up now yesterday we heard pretty much a lot more of what we heard the day before on the opening day of the trial so david sherborne uh, saying that there was uh, systematic and widespread use of private investigators by mirror group newspaper journalists uh, and he, he reeled off a, a, a number of names of senior executives, editors at the newspaper, including Piers Morgan, who he said, in his opinion, was right at the heart of this in many ways. He was a hands-on editor and was close to the board. We have the direct involvement of Mr Morgan in a number of these incidents. Now, Mirror Group newspaper denies those claims. And, of course, we know Piers Morgan says that he knows nothing about phone hacking, was not involved in uh, any phone hacking. But uh, David Sherborne continued to use a number of examples, uh, specifically a 1999 story about the... Uh, uh, Prince about Prince Michael of Kent, the cousin of the Queen. Now, Prince Michael's lawyers worked out that a blagger had called his bank to obtain private financial information. Now, uh, subsequently, Mirror Group newspapers settled out of court. They published an apology and paid uh, Prince Michael's uh, legal costs. David Sherborne said it's inconceivable, given the way this progressed, that the legal department and Piers Morgan were not well aware of the source of the story and that it came from illegally obtained information. But as I say, Piers Morgan uh, denies any claims of uh, any involvement or knowledge of uh, phone hacking. Uh, the uh, case continues behind me. It's going to continue for another six to seven weeks. And as I say, next week we'll hear from witnesses. And then Prince Harry will be in the dock in the uh, first week of June, the first senior role in modern times to be uh, cross-examined in a witness box in a court.